All right, so uh, my name is Andrew Lewis, and I'm with GL Rustic Design. And today we'll we're building a farmhouse uh, coffee table. It's gonna be roughly four foot long, um, and then we're gonna start with the base here. So uh, pretty much what I'm doing is um, I've already pre-cut, pre-drilled all the Craig jig holes. Um, I've cut all the wood up to where I need it to be, um, and so here for the legs, um, which you see sticking up, uh, I've I've used four by four post. Um, that I've just got from Lowe's. Uh, I've cut those at 16 inches long. Um, and then the uh, two by four that I'm screwing in there uh, is cut at 17 inches long. And you'll need two of those for each leg and also two legs in total, so four of each. Um, like I said, um, I've already, I've already pre-cut everything. Uh, just to make this video a little quicker. Um, so here, what I've done is I marked up um, an inch and a half from the bottom. Um, I just put two little marks, uh, and then I'm holding everything square on the lines, um, and then there'll be two pocket holes per side, um, and then that will that will um, put the um, legs together, and then we'll do that also with the other side. Um, like I said, same same thing over uh, four by four posts. Uh, once again, it's cut at 16 inches long. Uh, two by four is cut 17 inches long, and then you're just um, uh, combining those together. And kind of, kind of while we're at, uh, kind of a duplicate, duplicate here. Uh, I just want to say um, thank you all for who have subscribed so far. Um, I'll be, I'll be getting more videos out there, so please like and subscribe my page. Um, also, um, if you're, you know, extremely interested in it, uh, go ahead and hit the hit the bell to get to get not to get notifications for whenever um, I do I do more projects. <clears throat> in the future, you can see behind me. I've I've built a table. I've built a small, um, a small six foot table with a bench behind it, and then I was also working on a cabinet, um, which is that big item there. And, and just in the future, um, I you know like to do an entertainment center. Um, walk you through how to do a kitchen table, uh, a bed frame, and so on. All right, and now moving on to the bottom shelf um, of the coffee table. So uh, I here I used uh, two by sixes. Um, those are cut at 33 inches long, um, and I've put two pocket holes um, on each per board on each uh, end of it uh, to later connect to the base of the um, of, of, of what we just completed then I also put uh, two pocket holes um, on the on two of the boards to, to connect all three pieces of the shelf um, and then here so I'm using a clamp to hold the uh, hold the pieces together so it doesn't so it doesn't buck up on me um, and I'm using a two and a half inch pocket screw um, to connect those, um, and it's just that's that, just that simple, and it's done. And so here uh, we're going to do the X's for the bottom. Um, so pretty much what I do is I line it up, um, just so I don't have to try to figure up any math or whatnot. And then I just take my pencil, pen, whatever you have, mark it off um, to where you have the X. Uh, go over to the miter saw. It's going to be roughly 45 degrees. I think this will end up being like 47 degrees or something like that. Um, but I just I just cut along the line just, just to eliminate um, any um, any any ways of it of it not being perfectly flat. Um, so here uh, I'm I'm changing over to my torch bit. Uh, I use three inch screws to hold the X's um, in between so they don't come out. Um, so like I said, it, it fit perfectly. Uh, I just take a three inch torque screw, run it through the top, um, and then uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do the same thing with the bottom. Make sure it's, always make sure it's nice and flush. Uh, And so here, so I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how I can 
um, do the other side of the X. It's pretty much the same concept. Um, you should already have um, one of the 4x4 four four posts is, is also what I'm using here. Um, you should already have one of those 4x4 four four posts cut at the top so you line, you line it off. Um, you're going to end up having three marks here. Uh, same thing, go over the miter saw. Um, cut the one side roughly 45 degrees, 47 degrees, somewhere in there. And then you're going to cut um, where it's going to meet in the middle. Um, that's going to be more. That's going to be closer to zero. Um, it's if I recall, it's eight or nine degrees. Um, but like I said, I just draw the line, cut the line, um, just so I, just so I know it's perfect every time. And the more snug it is, the better. Um, same concept. Take a three-inch torque screw. Uh, run it through all right so um, like I said so for the other side of the X um, it's same concept 4x4 four four post uh, take a 3 inch torch screw um, run it in the bottom to hold it tight um, same thing with the top uh, hold it flush run it in the top and then to hold the middle um, what I do here is um, I grab my drill with just a little uh, a starter hole and then I dr drill an angle. Um, this will be the inside of the coffee table so you won't see that screw. Uh, drill, it, drill it at an angle to hold that tight. Um, you, could always, you could always put a, a Craig, Craig, hole, Craig screw hole here if you needed to. I just found it easier um, and it holds it more, holds it more tight. Um, just to make sure everything is flush. S same thing with the other side. Um, I grab what left, what I, have, what I have left of my four x four posts. You'll end up needing two eight foot uh, four x four posts for this project, um, as well as um, whenever we get to the top, um, you'll need. Um, a 2 by 10 by 12 and that should cover the whole top um, it's gonna be this whole coffee table is roughly four foot long um, it's gonna be about 27 inches wide 28 inches wide um, and it's gonna stand about 18 inches tall roughly um, like I said you can you can change these measurements to however you need it um, this is just a very just a basic farmhouse coffee table Like I said, so same process as before. Uh, you put the four by four posts, line it up uh, to the to the ninety degree corners. Um, cut the first side, put the three inch torch screws in it. Come back to the other side, um, and you gotta cut the two pieces. Um, I, I usually end up labeling one. I'll put a T for top and a B for bottom, just so I don't get them mixed up um, and end up. Um, mess myself up down the road like I said same thing uh, put a 3 inch torch screw in it uh, I would imagine a 2 inch 2 inch screw would be just the same there's really no there's not a whole lot of force on these X's so it doesn't have to be um, it's, it's really just more holding it in place um, it's going to act as a little bit of support but it's, it's not a very heavy coffee table and so I had, I had I had a little bit of a piece left over, not enough to stretch all the way across. Um, so I cut it first, and then came back and um, added the the last little the bottom of the X in there. Like I said before, um, I would uh, you know I'll you know in, include some videos of. Um, Maybe just some shop projects um, that I have going on here in the next few weeks. Um, I'll have two big machines that I'll be moving in um, to try to help me uh, do some projects that I would like um, that everybody wants to see. You know, I have um, some cabinet doors coming up um, that I, I really want to get into, and then just general shop projects that I would like to do. Um, so here, I took the bottom shelf um, that we that we assembled. Uh, early, earlier in the video, um, I'm, I'm gathering my two and a half inch Craig jig screws. 
um, and then there'll be six for the bottom there'll be six for each side um, and I'll, I'll, I'll also add a link to um, the actual Craig jig machine that I use um, and then um, I'll also add a link to the uh, the screws and the machine that I, that I'm that I'm currently using. I said if you have any questions um, about any tool that I use, any recommendations, if you um, anything in the video, feel free to comment below, and I'll, I'll gladly answer. Um, so here's same thing as same thing as a while ago. You'll have the six screws. Uh, for the bottom uh, I'm just putting those in there kind of lining it up you're going to have about a half inch gap on each side um, just make sure it's nice and even um, and then you'll just use the use the bit okay. all right so here we have um, we're doing the top um, so the top is going to be um, Two by tens cut at um, 29 inches long um, so roughly they're gonna be nine and a quarter wide um, after you run it through the table saw it's gonna take off an 18th of an inch on each side just to get the the corners out um, and so here pretty much what I'm doing is, is um, I have them all lined up like I said I have them um, I have them already pre-cut pre-drilled um, and there's two two pocket holes on each end to attach the breadboards at a, la at a later step and then there's two pocket holes um, in the middle to hold the boards together um, so, like I said, so here I'm just I'm using the, the, the Craig bit um, that she used for the two and a half inch um, pocket hole pocket screws and I'm using the clamp to hold the ends together so I can uh, attach all three boards and then so I, I cut the, the breadboard ends at um, I think they're roughly 28 inches so they're just a little bit longer um, and I'm just taking a pin and I'm just drawing a little mark um, at the end of the board so I can so everything's nice and flush in the end um, and then I'll with my saw uh, cut it where that line was and then I'll um, use the clamp again um, and put uh, hold one of the ends flush then I'll take uh, the two and a half inch pocket holes and run it through um, each end. So you're going to have six on each end, so 12 total um, to hold. Um, six will hold one breadboard on each side. Um, and then I, I've, I've learned in the past to not, um, not drill these pocket holes as deep um, as you would uh, for, say, the ones in the middle because um, you're going from that wood grain to um, the wood grain turn sideways um, it sometimes can become an issue so just to eliminate all, all that I don't don't drill a hole as deep um, so like I said here I'm just I'm just connecting the breadboard ends um, with six pocket holes um, same same step on the other side um, in, insert the pocket holes um, and in, in, in this video um, I'm not going to be staining and painting uh, but you can but the, the picture that I put in the beginning of the video um, you can tell that um, it came out came out beautiful um, and I said uh, all these uh, so pretty much the beginning step is um, I have a 2 by 10 by 12 uh, cut it up 29 29 29 and then 28 28 and then I um, find the better side drill all my pocket holes um, and then I run it through the planer uh, and whatever the side I run through the planer is my top side uh, make sure everything's nice and smooth there's no defects all the woods even um, and then here in about two weeks um, I'll have a joiner um, in my shop which will help on the process of um, the edges being perfectly straight so here here we finish the top um, so what, pretty much what I'm going to do is just, just set the base up there um, you can add a 2x4 um, the, above the second shelf um, to kind of help connect them um, I don't so pretty much um, I just have everything 
somewhat aligned, this one will actually end up going in my house, um, or I'll sell it. Um, I, you know, if, if a customer asks for it and they want to unpaint it, or if they want to paint it, or I'll gladly paint it or whatnot. Um, but here I'm just trying to give an example. Um, I usually drill one hole in each leg at an angle, so that I can run a three and a half inch torch screw um, into the side and on on all four legs like i said or you can take a piece of two by four cut it at 33 inches um, to put under the top to you can connect the screws that way um either either way um and like and then that's, that's that's pretty much it um i only put one screw in here just because i know i'm, I'm going to take it back apart as soon as this video is done um uh, i just i just want to thank everyone who has watched the video um like i said i'll, I'll have a lot more content coming later down the road um, try to get at least two videos out a month um, but if you like it give me a like um, just a, a quick walk around of it and I just want to say thank you